Hello, and welcome to the GRACE podcast series. My name is Denise Brock, and I am the Operations Director for the Global Resource for Advancing Cancer Education, or GRACE. In this podcast series, we interview patients, advocates, and healthcare professionals to provide the most updated information for our community and to highlight important issues facing those dealing with a cancer diagnosis. We hope you find this information valuable. For questions or comments, please visit us at cancergrace.org. The field has even evolved a bit further now, and there's a very related type of immunotherapy, which is in some ways a bit simpler, and possibly so far it seems a bit safer as well, uh, but it's the same idea. Uh, this other type of immunotherapy we call bispecific antibodies. Bispecific antibodies are not that different from uh, common therapies that folks have heard of if they've had lymphoma. A very common therapy for lymphoma is rituximab. It's an antibody that binds to lymphoma cells and it binds this little protein on lymphoma cells called CD20. This is a very similar idea. These bispecific antibodies, you can hear it, they bind two things. The bispecific antibodies frequently bind CD20 on the lymphoma cell, but then they also bind something on the immune cells, the T cells I was just talking about before. So they bind both the lymphoma cell and the immune cell at the same time, kind of drags the immune cell over and activates that immune cell so it will kill the lymphoma cell. And this idea has been around for a while. But really, just over the past three or four years, uh, we've had some excellent versions of these bispecific antibodies. There's about four or five of them that are in late phase clinical trials now. And these bispecific antibodies in folks with diffuse large B cell lymphoma, follicular lymphoma, mantle cell lymphoma, a few others, are also inducing remissions in the majority of people. Uh, some of these 70 and 80 percent of patients going into remissions. In some of these, more than half of patients going into complete remission meaning that we cannot see any r residual lymphoma on the fanciest tests we have, PET CT scans and blood tests. Uh, we cannot detect any lymphoma. It does not mean that those patients are cured. It, it's possible, but at least a complete remission would be the you know, most important step on the way to cure. We'll only really know if those patients are cured if we follow them for one year, two years, three years, and, and we don't see the lymphoma ever coming back. But we've had patients from these bispecific antibodies with all types of those lymphomas in complete remission for one years and two years already. So it's extremely promising. And the side effects are in some ways a bit similar to the CAR T cells, but overall just more mild. Uh, we've had patients get that cytokine release syndrome, the high fever uh, and low blood pressure, uh, but it's very rare that patients get a lot of that. Uh, one out of 20 patients, one out of 40 patients, and uh, overall, it's so rare that we don't usually have to observe folks in the hospital for very long. For some of these bispecific antibodies, we have to just observe patients in the hospital just for one day, just to make sure they're not getting those high fevers. For some of them, two or three days, but usually just for one day. And you can hear that's a lot less than the you know, 10 or 11 days that we have to keep people in the hospital for CAR T cells. So, and the other benefit of these is that uh, it doesn't take time to make this therapy for each patient. The CAR T cell is a, it's a personalized therapy. It's made for each person using their own immune cells. For the bispecific antibodies, we don't have to ship anything off to Santa Monica. We just infuse the, the bispecific antibody into the person. It's what we say an off the shelf therapy. And in that way, it's more accessible. You don't have to wait three weeks to get your, uh, as you do with CAR T cells, you don't have to wait three weeks to get your bispecific antibody. And for some patients that need therapy quickly, uh, that makes a big difference. So uh, similar ideas, both of these therapies are getting your immune cells, your T cells to kill lymphoma cells. And patients and their families find that very gratifying that they're sort of part of the fight against the cancer. Their immune cells are the thing that is killing the cancer, not, not the chemotherapy, not you know, radiation therapy, uh, but their own immune cells. Their own immune cells may not be able to do it without some help, um, but with these types of help, CAR T cells, by specific antibodies, their own immune system is getting rid of the cancer. And that idea has been around for a long time, but these are easily uh, the most striking example of that idea really working, really putting our patients uh, into remission and some of them complete remissions lasting for years. And as I say, as we make more advances, seems to be doable in a safer and safer uh, and more, more practicable way. So very exciting time over these past few years for immunotherapies for patients, with many types of B-cell, non-Hodgkin's lymphomas. And we think the progress is going to even continue to improve over the next couple of years. Thank you again for joining us. This podcast was made possible by the generosity of sponsorship from our friends at Lilly and Exalexis. 
Please like and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Send us feedback, share your story, donate, and visit us for more information at cancergrace.org. Thank you for listening.